The progress of locomotive design across two centuries can be seen in survivor specimens throughout the Lake Superior Railroad Museum. But it all started with the William Crooks, a 440 steam locomotive that was the first to work the newly laid rails of Minnesota. Built by the New Jersey Locomotive and Machine Works, it was delivered by barge to St. Paul nine months prior to undertaking its first dignatorial trip to St. Anthony, aka Minneapolis, on June 28, 1862, with regular service commencing four days later. Initially, the Crooks burned wood, with its tender only being large enough to contain two cords. According to railroad lore, occasionally this stranded trains, requiring the taking down of right-of-way fences to shove into the firebox and get the train moving again. It was converted to burn coal early in its life, and then was partially destroyed by fire after only six years. It was through the enlistment of Albion B. Smith to restore the locomotive to service that he and James J. Hill would form a lifelong partnership that would contribute to the growth of Hill's Great Northern Railway Empire in the Northern States. The Crooks could be cited as the pioneer locomotive that tested the rails and established railways as the dominant force in American transportation for a century to come. It sat on display in the head house of Union Depot in St. Paul from 1954 through 1975. But before it became lobby fodder in pig's eye, the Crooks got to show off on occasional exhibition runs throughout the pre-World War II era. It visited the World's Fair in 1939 and traveled through the place of its manufacture in Patterson, New Jersey. Though requiring meticulous operation, the Crooks made the journey without breakdowns. It would receive another overhaul prior to its transfer of ownership from the Great Northern to the Lake Superior Railroad Museum, where it eventually found a home greeting visitors just beyond the podium to enter the platforms. The locomotive shares its name with its first engineer. William Crooks was a West Point graduate that had taken on engineer roles across America as train technology debuted. His post-Civil War railroad operations expanded train service across the continent and he was held in high regard among his 19th century peers. His military actions in the Civil War were concerning the U.S. Dakota War Theater, where Crooks was part of a committee that scaled back the death sentence of a hundred indigenous people to 40. After that, his commission had him leading troops through Arkansas, with malaria claiming 58 lives and affecting over 650 in Crooks' oversight. Among then uncertain and now shadowed times, its first engineer remains a product of his own times. But his namesake locomotive is a fantastic artifact. You stand among it, being now as it was when it was the only locomotive on the rails in Minnesota. For whatever that time may have been and now is viewed, that locomotive is here in Duluth and the William Crooks is awaiting your next experience. Thanks for watching. We'll be off to Stillwater, Minnesota next week to walk the lift bridge. Trips to Des Moines and St. Louis are also on a farther horizon and by late January, we'll be on the rails to San Luis Obispo and Albuquerque. Between now and any of that, Take it easy and keep changing your horizons. Mm -hmm.